When do you become aware that there's a problem with the car? It was 11 days after the purchase. And how did you become aware of it? Because all the lights on the dash lit up. This word emissions across the dash lit up and stayed on and a check engine light. That's what had been hidden. You take the car at that point to your brother who's a mechanic. No, I took it to my neighborhood mechanic in San Diego to say, what does this mean, the check engine light, so forth. He goes, it's something to do with a turbo and emissions. I don't handle that. You're going to have to go to a specialist. Do you want me to turn the lights off? And I went, yeah, they're really irritating me. Your brother at some point was the one who said he must have disabled the codes so that he could pass the smog check, and that's why all the lights were off. But that disabling only lasts for a certain amount of time, and then all the the lights come back on. Do you have any evidence for the proposition that the defendant disabled the codes other than one minute the lights were on, next minute the lights were off? Yes. Yes. What is it? When I called the specialist, I said, can I bring it in to have it checked? And he goes, well, no, you had the lights turned off. There's nothing I can detect when the lights are off. When the lights come back on, then bring it to me and I will diagnose it. Nine days later, they came back on. I drove it straight to that specialist. He gave me that estimate of $7,400. I couldn't pay that. I, there was no way. I had to just sit on it and do research. Let me ask you this. Before you took possession of the car, why didn't you have a specialist check it out then? There were no lights on, and nothing can be detected if the codes are turned off. So wait, 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 are you suggesting that you never had the car checked out because there were no lights on? Correct. We did the checkup in the online. We, we checked the history of the car. I drove it. My brother talked to Mr. Sosa in length. I went ahead and bought it. Okay. So when there's no problems detected, I didn't take it to the mechanic well, no, scan no, wait, until, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. until stop, I got suspicious. Stop, stop. Is it reasonable for a consumer to say I'm buying a 12-year-old car, there are no lights on, so you say, I don't need to check anything because there are no right. lights. Right, so we put that to the test. We tested it by turning it but, off to see if they'd but come But none on. of these are things that you did before you took possession of no, the car. No, it's true. And your basis for doing that is, I didn't think I needed to because there were no lights illuminated on the and dashboard. And the history of the car that we checked out Mr. Sosa, online. did you do anything to disable the codes on the car so that you could pass a smog test? No, Your Honor, because uh, I have to meet her in the library to show her so she can test drive the, the car. If there's something wrong with it. How long was the test drive? Uh, maybe uh, 10, 20 minutes. Was there a bill of sale between the two of you? No, I did not get one. But I do want you to look at that former bill of sale to see how much he paid for that car. What is the relevance of that? I have it. Well, Tell he paid $1,000 and four months later without doing anything to the car, he charged me $7,600 saying it was in perfect condition. You have buried the lead. That is the best part of your case. Did you know that you bought a lemon and did you know that you were selling her a lemon? No, Your Honor, because uh, when I got the car, there's nothing wrong with it. There's no light that's on. I, I, I actually smog it on so that. So what do you think accounted for your low purchase price? They said they just bought a, a new car. That's why they would just want to sell it. So uh, we bought it. Very interesting. Judge Domingo? When did you buy the car, sir? I bought it on May 22nd. When did you sell it to the plaintiff? On October 12th. Five months later, just about, yes. right? When you bought the car, why did you buy it? Because it's a good deal. I use it to go to work every day, and I put my so family... So, are you still working at that same job? Yes, Your Honor. So, why did you sell the car then? If it's a good deal, and it was running great, and you still have the same job, why did you sell the car? It's because my mom's trying to buy me a Tacoma, a truck. So, how many cars do you have at home? Right now, I got five cars. How many people live in your home? Four. So what's the extra car for? The two cars is none of it doesn't work. I mean, do you fix cars and sell them? Do you ever do that? No, I have a regular job. I, I, don't, I don't... What is your regular job? I work at a semiconductor company. Did you know the person you bought the car from? No, I don't. According to you, the car's worth $7,600. So that's like a $6,600 gift from a stranger to you. So what is it that you are not telling us? No, when I bought the car, I, I, I brought a, a scanner to, to make sure there's nothing wrong with it, and there's nothing wrong with it.